Today you're going to learn how to select any face of any object and how to apply any action in Geometry Nodes. So let's delete the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes. Let's close this and this panel so we have full screen. Let's create a new profile and let's work with this cube. First, before we select a face, because we don't know which number is, we need to see the number of the faces, the index. To see the numbers, we have to select this and press Ctrl Shift left click. So we have the viewer node. Now, to see the index, we need to say to this viewer node that we want to use as a value index. And to see the numbers, we need to go here and select attribute text. If you want to see the white color, just disable this. Now we can see the number, the index of all the vertices. But we want to see the number of the faces. So click here and select face. So now we can see the number of the faces. So it's easier to select one face and do an action. Perfect. Let's, for example, delay this one, the zero. So if we want to isolate this element, this face, we need to use separate geometry. This allows us to select some part of the geometry. You can select a point, edge, face, spline, instance, whatever you want. So let's work with face. And we need to do a selection. So if we know this face is the zero, we need to click here and type compare. And now we need to use index. So it's taking index as a value. And here we can select which number we want. And then it will isolate, separate this geometry. Now we cannot see anything because we have this on. So just disconnect this. And now we only see this face because we have selected zero. If I want this one, the four, then I select the number four. So this is how it works, this node. It allows us to separate the geometry that you select. And with a selection, if you know the index number, you can just get this part of the geometry and do whatever you want with this geometry. So we said we want the zero and I want to delete it. So if you pay attention, here we have another output. So instead of deleting this, what we can do is to use invert selection. That means that it will select everything except this one. So if I disconnect this and I select this, now it's selecting everything except the zero face. So we deleted this face. So this is how it works, separate geometry. It's really useful to select some part of the geometry. Remember, you can select points, edges, splines, whatever, and do an action. For example, now I want to select the face number. Let's check it, this one, number four, and I want to move it in this axis. So what we have to do is to add join geometry and let's duplicate this. So let's select it, shift D, and let's connect it here. And now let's connect it here. If you don't want to get confused, you can disconnect this and later we can connect it again. So we said we want the face number four. So I'm going to select four. And now with this, I can apply any action. For example, set position. So I can move this in any axis, as you can see. And I want to move it in this axis. So for example, X. And now if I join both geometry, I have here, let's change the name. As you can see, here I'm deleting the face number zero, and here I'm offsetting the face number four. By the way, if you want to delete more than one face, what you can do is here, add math, and add a copy of this with the face you want to delete. So let's duplicate this, and here select number four. So now we are saying, please make a selection of the number zero and four. So in this pattern, let's delete this. 
Now we are deleting two faces. So you get an idea how this works and how we can do selections with separate geometry and with the compare node in equal and with the index node. To show you another example, now let's paint this face with a color. So let's duplicate this, shift D, let's connect it here, let's connect it and make selection. And I'm going to disable this one and this one. And I want the face number one. So let's select number one. I'm going to change this. And if you want to paint this with colors, first let's see the material view. And let's open this. And let's choose, let's create a new material. Let's call it blue. And let's select blue. And here we can say with this one, set material. And let's select blue. So now we isolate this face, the face number one, and we paint it with a material. So now if we join all the geometries, actually here have to be inverted. Now we have three different actions. Actually, I'm going to paint this one with another color so we can see different colors. So let's create, for example, orange. And let's add here, shift D, orange. So here we have three different actions. The first one is deleting this face and this face. The second action is selecting this face and offsetting in X. And the third action is selecting this face and adding a material with blue color. So as you can see, you can select any face of any object and do whatever you want. 